Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another video on my gold making journey thing, whatever. Um, <laughs> basically, what I'm going to show you today is how to set up the trade skill master um, add-on to use the snipe function. And just to give you a quick background, the snipe uh, feature in Trade Skill Master. Go over here real quick. It's under shopping. It is kind of hidden really well. You go into the other tab and you click Start Sniper. Basically, what it does, you can see, is it scans the last page. And you've got to set up a couple of parameters beforehand, but it keeps an eye out for anything and everything that is really, really, really dirt cheap. And kind of, I don't want to say I'm bragging a little bit, but I have to say that the sniper is probably the most underrated tool that Trade Skill Master offers. Um, just to show you real quick, I have this little creature, thanks to Trade Skill Master. Just to show you, long ago and far away, I got this jeweled onyx panther, you can see, for one silver. And this is pretty much the, I'm gonna say, deal of a lifetime. I highly doubt I'll ever get that lucky again. Um, but just to show you the power of Trade Skill Master's sniper feature, jeweled onyx panther, worth when it's not duped, usually what, 85, 90,000 gold. I got it for one silver. So, bought it out of pure skepticism. Didn't want to resell it because I didn't know if it was duped. Turned out totally legit. Jeweled Onyx Panther for one silver. So, to set up the Trade Skill Master Sniper function, you've got to go into Module Operations. I believe it's under Shopping. Aha! Down here at the bottom, you'll see Sniper Options. And these checkboxes, you can leave them checked, unchecked, what, it's pure preference. But this is where the meat and potatoes is, and this is where you need to enter in 10%. Um, this is how I have it. There's no really set in stone way to say you'll get stuff. <laughs> but um, this is my operation here. You can see 10% minimum parentheses WOW auction market, WOW auction region market. And I'll make sure this is typed out in uh, YouTube probably, or I'll just make you work for it. <laughs> but this is what's needed in order for um, the sniper function to work. So basically you're telling it, look for anything that is basically 10% of these item values. and you have to use a lot of discretion with buying stuff. You can't just let it rip and then jump on everything. I mean, it's definitely worth um, taking a look at items to see if they're really worth it. Um, you don't want to buy crap. I can't begin to say how many thousands of gold I've spent on crap. <laughs> just because I thought it was a really good deal. So, this sniper feature is perfect for if you're doing stuff in the background. If you get a second computer, second monitor, you can kind of leave World of Warcraft up. It's a great way to make a lot of gold just from people who are listing stuff on the auction house that either don't know what it's worth or it's a complete mistake, like the Jewel Onyx Panther. Um, so hopefully someday, if you kind of follow this and you're persistent and you're really lucky, you could get a Jeweled Onyx Panther for one silver. <laughs> so, that is my really quick Trade Skill Master tutorial on setting up the sniper function. Till next time!